So I've been using Obsidian for the last couple of months and I think I've gathered some sort of experience and uh, I think I can share with this experience with you guys. And uh, so what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to tell you like very briefly what Obsidian actually is and where you can get it, why personally I started to use it those couple of months ago and never looked back and what do I actually think about Obsidian uh, all the functionality is it like useful or not maybe something is missing and probably like a little bit comparison to the notion which is also very popular tool and, and a piece of software for for the same purpose as Obsidian so Obsidian obsidian.md uh, the homepage if you want to download sharpen your thinking obsidian is the private and flexible writing app that adapts the way you think so basically that is a productivity tool your online notebook the notebook in your computer pricing wise it's free for the personal use if you want to use it for the company then you need to pay fifty dollars per user per year but again free for the personal use um what's inside like all the syntax all the format is in a markdown so if you don't have any experience with the markdown initially you might have questions like how can i can do this or that but uh, you can find the answers very quickly th through the googling and uh, trust me there's not so many things that you will need to use and and need to do when making your notes basically whenever i started i use only this like the check boxes and just writing the plain text and right now as my obsidian database uh, knowledge base already has grown i'm starting to use more and more things so this is how it looks like uh, on the left side there's uh, a menu or, or structure or whatever which is uh, perfect because you can organize all of your stuff like work private um, YouTube videos video ideas and go deeper 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 in all of the folders so you can always find then the actual writing like you can use tags and again the markdown for the formatting and then there is a graph for the visualization which is not very needed in the beginning when you just start but it's very great as you grow and as you have more and more files your thoughts are yours so obsidian stores notes on your device this is the biggest probably difference in comparison to the notion like in case of the notion everything is stored in the cloud you are not the owner of your data so anything can happen and and bad things can happen as well in case with obsidian all of the files are stored on your device where you're running obsidian you can even purchase some some plugin or whatever i think it was five dollars and as far as i know there are also some workarounds how to do that for free to sync all of your knowledge base between multiple computers i don't do that i have just one computer where i am using that and that's perfectly fine for me your mind is unique with hundreds of plugins and teams you can shape obsidian to fit your way of thinking and again telling you my experience like i use it for a couple of months uh pretty heavy i believe and i don't use any plugin i i don't need it like i've decided to go not in a way that in a day one i just try to discover everything that obsidian has to offer but i just do my stuff and whenever i start to miss something then i start to search for the solutions uh, whether there is a plugin or some functionality that could uh, remedy my needs spark the brilliance links uh, links will help you to link the different pages right in in your knowledge base so again it's not a big problem in the beginning when you have just a to-do list and and maybe a couple pages of documentations but as that grows you need to cross link the pages which also allows you to visualize um, all of the links and all of the relations in the graph like this so whenever you grow like to extreme amount of the pages it's going to be very easy to navigate around like and see like what are the connections and right from this graph you can click and open the page canvas that's for the drawing uh for me it works perfectly for uh drawing the schemas and and some flows workflows charts uh similar to like draw io but uh, this is integrated within the obsidian itself and like everything in the same place like you can draw the schema and uh, also create some knowledge base and, and stuff like that 
plugins, sync, publish instantly. Um, so a lot of the features and this is not the overview video of the Obsidian. So let's get back to the main thing, why I personally decided to use it and, and never looked back. Um, for a very long time, like, uh, I don't know, since since my childhood or whatever, I was always, uh, in a way, proud of a very good memory. And uh, I never made any notes, like starting even with a school, high school, uh, I didn't make any notes, I didn't uh, write uh, some information for myself that I could study later. But at the same time, I can say that I was very good in studying. But anyways, like even at the work, um, anyone could come to me and uh, ask about something that happened like two, three, four, five months ago, maybe even years ago. And there is very likely that I did actually remember that and remembered everything in the details. And uh, time went, I, I'm not sure what actually caused that maybe just, uh, first of all, I believe I'm just getting older. Uh, second thing, there's quite a lot of things going on right now, like a lot of work, a lot of private stuff, uh, kids on top of that. So it gets uh, very difficult to keep everything organized just in your head and uh, at some time at some point I started to notice that I just start to forget things and like even if I haven't organized some to-do list uh, uh, for the day in my head then more and more often after a week or two I found out that oh my I had this list of the 10 things and I sort of did everything but there was this one single thing that I just forgot and uh, despite being a very disorganized person including like all of the files and everything on my computer is just a mess like I'm the person who has the desktop with uh, hundreds of, of icons and files and whatever and cannot find this stuff. So I tried Obsidian. Um, I did try the uh, Notion initially and uh, it, it, it it's good. Like I'm not saying it's bad, but it was way too much for me. Like I don't plan to do some fancy tables and some logic and formulas, whatever thing. I just want to make notes and, and document everything that I have and make the tasks for myself and, and cross link all the things so that I can always check out what I was working on, what kind of problems we have, link to the page where I am like searching deeper how to now solve those problems and creating some checklists for myself like okay to solve this problem I need to do a b c d e and and so on and then I just stick everything that was done so this is how I started and uh, I started with just one page I started with page uh, something like to do list and and some notes that I need to mention in some meetings or, or whatever. And that has grown like to do for a huge amount of the things. And, and I also categorize like all of the stuff that I'm doing. And Obsidian has become a very a needed thing in, in a daily life. So not only in a work, but also like in a private. Um, it's great. I don't know what else to say. Like I as I said, I don't use plugins and uh, I'm not even sure what kind of plugins are available. And I'm sure that there are some that will be beneficial and great. But uh, as I said, like, I just keep doing the stuff that I need right now. And right now, no plugins, just the default functionality is fully sufficient for what I need. When the time will come, I will check the plugins page and maybe you will find something for me. Uh, but uh, as far as it goes for today, uh, that's basically my experience and, and, and my humble opinion about uh, Obsidian. This is definitely not a sponsored video. Obsidian has not paid me anything or, or whatever. But if someone from Obsidian is watching, you can send me some, some swag. Uh, I sure love your design and, and uh, the web page and uh, also design of the Obsidian itself. It's like very beautiful. So you can send me your swag if you want to see them in some other videos. But uh, as far as it goes for everything else, thank you guys for watching. Click the subscribe button. That's the best thing you can do aside from clicking the like and writing some sort of the comments. And uh, we'll see you in some next videos. So stay tuned and goodbye.